Mario Neudzek has been working with Alex Rogers on deep sea projects um, for a number of years with me and this year she's actually um, completed the first sort of part of that work which is to make the sequence of videos that are being shown in St Thomas's Church at the moment. We've provided her with uh, a lot of um, video footage from our work in the deep ocean. Um, we've sat, talked at length about uh, our work which is a kind of cross between science and exploration because we often go to places where you know, other humans have not been previously. For Now We See is the title of this and I kind of, it took me a long time to, to sort of get my head around what to call it as an installation because it kind of works as a group of eight films um, and it is related to a Bible quote, but also it relates to, to sort of perception and mirrors and so on. For now we see in a glass darkly. But I quite like the sort of relationship of that context, but then also to do with the sort of difficulty of seeing under, sea, under the sea and in that kind of depth where they send the robots with the cameras mounted on them and, and film in torchlight in very difficult situations for us to see the situations down there. So it kind of made sense to sort of allude to both those angles of for now we see. We're interested in stimulating people to reflect on the relationship of you know, their lives and the rest of the world. And so it fits entirely to have an exhibition about uh, the deep ocean and human impact on it. I, th I think the, the, the most interesting thing for me has been that sense of uh, of a kind of environment that uh, you're very up close and personal with, but that in, in normal life you'd have absolutely no access to. So, so much of, of what we say about climate change is, is really obvious and really immediate to us. Whereas here's a, a, an environment where we, at the moment, have absolutely no access to. Uh, and, and yet, on the film, uh, you know, as you go around the, the church here, you see uh, in, in a very immediate way. So you get this sense of snippets of a reality that's kind of present somewhere else and it's it's quite an odd timeless sense but at the same time you know it's quite an urgent imminent situation that is changing and is getting worse and I think the conversation with Alex Rogers has also sort of taught me quite a quite quite a few things about how desperately urgent the state of the ocean is and so on almost everywhere we were working, we saw evidence of human impact. Now, a lot of that visible evidence is from deep sea fishing. Um, but we also have made some other discoveries about things like the occurrence of plastics in the environment. So, you know, when we're discussing these problems with people, they often say, oh, but there's nothing I can do about it personally. Well, there is actually, because everything you can do to reduce the intensity of your resource use um, will help the oceans in terms of climate change. You think very carefully about plastics that you're using and the way in which they're disposed. Um, there are a whole raft of things which you can do. So I, I hope that people might walk away with a kind of odd sense of everything being kind of even if it's very subtle, sort of saturated with, with that kind of human impact 